As I'm writing this script, I'm not really sure what to say of this painting. It truly speaks for itself, and any attempt at describing it or analyzing it risks breaking its power. That's why I never made a video about it. It's extremely popular, both online and in person, in the past and in the present. The strength of this painting, which has persisted for over a century, relies in its clearly understood message and its unquestionable emotions. This painting is clear, it's simple. In a colorless, cold landscape, a mother sheep lost her baby. Eyes closed, the lamb bleeds on the white snow. Surrounded by dozens of crows, the mother stands strongly over the body of her child, wailing, her warm breath revealing the harshness of winter. On the surface, these elements are enough, when combined in a painting, to make an incredibly sorrowful image. But there's more to it. Some details add to the distress, to the anguish. Anguish is the title of the painting, and nothing shows this anguish better than the prince in the snow. These traces witness the panic, the long minutes of pacing around the child, the feeling of powerlessness. The fine prints of the crows also show them closing in on the mother, their nervousness, their eagerness. These crows are often interpreted as symbols of death for obvious reasons. With their dark presence and beady eyes, we're assuming that they're waiting for the mother to finally let go of her child so they can finally feast on the carcass during a cold winter day. Without these crows, the painting wouldn't be the same. Without them, we would be witnessing a mourning mother. With them, we are witnessing a mother clinging to the last hope of her child surviving, refusing to let death take her baby. What we see here is denial, the first step in the five stages of grief. It's hard to watch because we know that the sheep will need to leave her child's corpse or die with it. We anticipate the upcoming sadness required to accept her loss. We, as external viewers, can see the pain the sheep has gone through in the past, is going through right now, and will go through as she accepts her child's death as the crows feast. There is something to be said about the fact that we are empathizing with a sheep. It may sound ridiculous at first, but I believe it's an important component to our appreciation of this painting. Would this painting be as strong if we saw a mother on top of her child? It could be just as strong, and it might resemble Worn Out by Brenda Kilda, but it would be so in a different way. There is something oddly touching about seeing a sheep mourning the death of a lamb. The sheep's pain is exacerbated by a number of factors. Firstly, sheep are innocent. There's no reason for them to go through such pain. There's no way they deserve any of it. Secondly, the sheep doesn't necessarily have a community to go back to. It seems alone, and we can safely assume that it won't go back to a community that will take care of it. Thirdly, the sheep is silent. It can't communicate its pain. It can only express it through pacing, through wailing, through primal signs of anguish. If the woman in Worn Out is living torment, we can at least hope that she can rely on a community that will take care of her, if at least for a couple of days or weeks. We can hope that she'll be able to express how she feels with people close to her, process the grief with members of her community. The sheep has none of these. The anguish comes not only from the loss of its child, but its denial of the situation, its unawareness, its inability to express itself, and its loneliness.
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Axel, Roman Brandel, X Towns, Jonathan, and all my other patrons for supporting the channel. If you also want to help out, leave a like, subscribe, and check out patreon.com forward slash the canvas. Thank you.